Hello, you're welcome to this channel. My name is Chris Ebute, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use um, your how you can play your hymns with gospel ideas, gospel concepts. All right. So I've gotten requests from people and asking how to play hymns in a gospel way and all that. So today I just pick up a simple gospel, a simple hymn song, and uh, I'm adding some gospel concept to it. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. The first thing to understand is that if you want to play him in a gospel way, the first thing is to understand the concept that is being used in gospel. Understand the ideas, how gospel is being played. If you understand how gospel is being played, the gospel concepts that are used in gospel play, then you just apply it to your hymn, right? You know that in gospel we have passing calls, passing calls like 251 passing, we have secondary dominant passing, you have triton substitutions, you know, you have um, concepts like drop to voicing, uh, grace notes, and, you know, leaks, runs, and lines, and all that. So, first of all, you need to understand the gospel concept. And then when you want to start playing your hymns, just apply what you already know in your hymns, right? So, I'll show you just an example of that. For instance, if I'm playing um, On Christ the Solid Rock, like I'm going to be doing this in the key of C. All right, so in the key of C, I have song like, uh, my hope is built on nothing less. So, my, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. So we can play this with simple chords, tries, all right? Now, if you want to make it gospel, you know, gospelize the hymn, then you can start adding your concept, the, here, the gospel concept. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna play the same hymn again, and I'll show you how you can begin to add those things, you know? All right, so in gospel, the first thing you really need to know to start sounding gospel is your seventh. So after knowing your seventh, you go to extended, your standard calls and then altered extensions, and then passing calls and all those leaks, runs, and lines, and other things, you know? All right, so I'm going to show you, okay, let me play the song now, like the one I played from the beginning of this video. I played something like this. Now, that, this is, is already sounding gospel. Why? Because I'm using the gospel concept. That's what I'm talking about. You need to understand the concept, the ideas that are being used in gospel. And then when you start playing your hymns, you will sound gospel. So what, what, what was I doing there? So, my hope. So this is like a C chord, but just like uh, a shell voicing. Hope is. Now, I'm turning the C chord, the one chord, to a major seventh chord. Now, you, you see, we talk about seventh chord. Seventh chords are used in gospel always. So you need to understand your different types of seventh chords, your uh, major seventh, dominant seventh, diminished seventh, and all those seventh chords. And then you use it when applicable. So you need to understand the concept and know how to use it, when to use it. So if you have understood all these things, it becomes easy for you to apply it in your hymn songs. So I go like this. So I'm playing different types of C chords. See? Shell voicing. Major seven, dominant seven, major 13, then what next? I go to the sixth chord. Six, major nine, uh, minor nine, That's a, this will be A minor nine, all right? Then the five. Now on the five chord, aside the fact that I'm, I'm playing a seventh chord here, dominant seventh chord, I'm also playing a grace note. You can see grace note like this. A whole, a whole, a whole tone uh, grace note. So I'm just moving from A to the B while on that five chord. See that? So grace note is also gospel concept. Then the three, three, four, and four. Then two, one over the five, five, um, five, then one. So I'm just doing three, now this is like a four chord but like a rootless voice in the left hand so if I should have my four here then it becomes uh, major nine yeah this would be my F major nine but omitting the four F here at the base just gives you a kind of chord but it's still F major nine right then Jesus blood 
Now, this is still F chord, but F69. There is no seventh here, so you call it F69. Right? If there is a seventh, you will have called it F13. Uh, F913. So that would be F13, but there is a nine there also. Right? But without the seventh, just call it F69. The uh, the name Jesus blood, then the two and the two minus seven, then right one over the five. This is slash chord. Slash chord is most times used in gospel. So this is the C slash G. That means the C chord slash the G note at the base. The da da da. Then the five chord, then one. So that's that's what I was doing there. Uh, then I go again. What was I doing there? So let me go. Uh, I'm playing. What I'm using now, the idea now is the two five one person. So two, two. Five supposed to go to the four chord, which is the F, but I'm not. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not going to the F now. Do the two five one going to the F, but I'm not going to the F. So it's like a double two five one. So two five one, like I'm going to the F, and and then I set another two five one going to the G. That's a five chord. So it's, it goes like this. Now the 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 the, the, the this video really is not for it's not for beginners because. I'm using some advanced stops here, stops here. So if you don't understand, just enjoy the video. You will get here one day, right? So I can see, I'm, you can see I'm using the grace note, uh, passing calls, 251 passing and all that. So a beginner might not understand those concepts, but just get, try to get familiar with these words and one day you will get to understand it. Uh, besides, I've done a video on 251 passing because, before. So I'll leave the number somewhere here. You can check it if you don't understand the concept of 251 passing. So it goes like this. Then. So what I'm, I'm doing a 251, 2. That's, this will be G minor 11. So that's like a 2 in the key of F. Then 5. Then instead of remaining on, the five, on that five, I played a triton sub of that five. That's the triton sub of that C chord. So this would be a G flat, flat nine, sharp 11. Right, because this is a flat nine and this is a sharp 11. The sharp 11, where are you? Here. The C is the sharp 11. So this is G flat, sharp nine, a flat nine, sharp 11. Now you may ask, why am I altering this chord? Now why am I altering this chord to be flat 9, sharp 11. Now, what is going on on my, on my mind is to play a chord that is as diatonic as possible, right? If you play just the G flat 7, it's going to be, I'm going to have more non-diatonic notes in this chord. So I now have to alter it. So I, I make it a flat 9. Now this note is diatonic to the key of C and this note is diatonic to the key of C. So... So that's the idea of altering these chords, right? Just to make it as diatonic as possible. So where am I? Da, 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 da. Try to sub. Then another two now. Two, five, one, going to the G now. Now on this G, I make it a flat nine chord, all right? See, so these are gospel concepts. This is one of the popular seventh chords you may find in uh, gospel playing, flat nine, very popular. And that's because it has a kind of diminished flavor inside, see? You can derive a diminished chord from this flat nine chord. Then uh, three, four, the same chord, four, then go to five, five, then you play your slash chord. So this would be F slash A, uh, G slash B, and one. So that's what I was just saying. All 
All right, so let's go to the other part of the song. All Christ the Sunday, all casting, all of the ground is sinking, uh, sinking, saying that I did a. Uh... Okay, let me start again. All Christ. Okay, I did a kind of arpeggio movement here, arpeggiated movement. All Christ the. So, on Christ the Son of major seven, dominant seven. Oh, then rock the six chord, rock and to the four chord, four major seven. Then all, then three, all the, and then two, two. You see that movement at the left hand? Bass walk there from the C to the C sharp to the D. The sneaking sand, that six and five. Then I did a kind of six, six chromatic movement, something like. Uh, so you can see this movement is in sixth. Sixth. They are all in sixth movement, and I'm doing it in the in doing this in the five chord. Oh, that is it's just a kind of to add a little flavor so the song, you know in gospel we do a, a, a lot of movements like this right then oh, now what am I doing here I'm using the idea of drop to voicing drop to voicing simply means that you drop the highest note at the bass. So if I have a chord like this, I'm actually playing the C major 9, C major 7, right? This is the root position, first inversion, second inversion, the third inversion of C major 7. All right, so what's the highest note here? The highest note is G. Now, second to the highest note is E. So I, brought, I bring down the E down here. So I have like the all. Oh, Oh, the ground. Now, this is another chord. Now, this is still the C major seventh, right? Now, the B has become the second to the highest note. So, I bring it down here. So, have oh, oh, la. Then, oh, la, the. Now, it's still C major seven, but now the second to the highest note has become C. So, I omit C from this chord and bring it down here. The. Ground. Now I'm, I'm playing the E minor 7. Now the second to the highest note is this E. So I omit it here, drop it here, and bring it down here. Ground. So that's what I'm just doing. Oh. You see? All of the ground. Then kind of a uh, circle of fourth here. Three, six, then two, two major. Five and one. See? Oh, 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 Kind of in our voice. All right, so those are some of the gospel ideas that I'm using. Now, if you follow this channel, my channel, you're going to find a lot of gospel ideas. I do a lot of gospel. I show, I share a lot of gospel ideas in this video, in this my my channel. You will see a lot of two five one passing. You will see uh, different types of passing calls and different type of gospel concepts. All right. So the first thing is to understand the idea of gospel, how it is being played, how to play it. Now, when you understand how to play it and you get a hymn song, just apply those knowledge that you have gotten from gospel. And then your hymn will sound gospel, like gospel, all right? So that's how to begin to play like, uh, that's how to turn your hymn or to make it sound gospel, all right? Thank you so much. I just hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, like I said, this video is not for beginners because I'm using a lot of advanced stuff here. And um, but I but what you need to understand, just enjoy every moment until you grow to this to the point that you desire. All right, thank you so much, and I like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel.
if you understand if you like playing gospel music there's a lot of gospel soft stuff you're going to be seeing coming out of this channel and when you subscribe and click the notification bell youtube will always notify you when i post new content all right also don't forget to like this video and share to uh, any platform you feel that will benefit from it thank you so much and see you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe to internality of bible youtube channel where you get spiritual and financial education through themes music talk shows preaching and lots more that will help your capacity building link is at the description thank you for subscribing